hello everyone and welcome back to my channel uh today i just wanted to quickly make uh, a quick video kind of like to show you how to use cloudinary's uh signed uploads with uh the cloudinary uh, upload widget and next years right uh i was recently working on a project where i needed to do exactly that and i couldn't figure it out so i asked this question on on twitter you know if anyone has been able to implement cloudinary signed uploads uh with next.js and i didn't get uh resources i didn't get enough responses until uh kobe fire finally helped me out uh which is why i'm making this video to kind of like show you how to do that if you happen to run into the same problems right uh so just a quick head start is uh i made this deck just kind of like show you the difference uh, Cloudinary's unsigned upload is the default upload method when you're building with Cloudinary or when you're like just, you know, implementing um, image uploads into your applications with uh, with Cloudinary. The the only thing uh, that it has, the only problem that it has is that it only requires you to pass in uh, two parameters, which is your cloud name and your upload preset. So when you're uploading files to Cloudinary, ordinarily you're supposed to, you know, create uh, an upload preset and give it a name. And then when you're integrating it into your project, you need to supply the name of the upload preset, as you can see on, on the screen, and then your cloud name. Uh, folder and resource type are all uh, optional. Uh, but the problem that this presents is if I happen to know your upload preset, it means I can upload my own contents into your Cloudinary account basically that's it right uh so uh it's also easy to mitigate right like if if you notice that people are maybe if because of this unsigned upload that you used people are uploading content onto your account you can easily change the preset name and that will fix it right uh so people knowing your upload preset doesn't give them access to you know delete your files or edit your files or basically do anything else other than just upload right uh but yeah if you're not taking care of that security measure and you're maybe uh on a paid cloudinary account people can you know spam your account and upload all sorts of different things and max out your resources basically incurring expenses for you and all uh, so we don't want that right uh, which is where signed uploads come in signed uploads kind of like taking a little bit more parameters it takes your api key and your upload signature the upload signature is generated on a server and supplied to the uh, Cloudinary uh, widget as uh, as a way of authenticating the upload, showing that you alone, who has the account, who supplied the API key, has uh, the permission to upload files onto your own Cloudinary account. And that's what I'm just going to be showing you. Um, just like in the next five minutes, I'm just going to show you how I implemented that into my project, and hopefully it helps you when you do yours. Uh, so let's bring up the terminal here. I think I have this. Uh, I already s created this project. Uh, it's called signed and unsigned demo. So let's open that up in VS Code. Awesome. Uh, so I think I'm just going to make this full screen. Uh, what I'm going to do is basically get rid of all of this. Uh, like I said, I kind of like already worked on this, so I'm not going to uh, type all the code afresh. So I'll bring this in here, basically copy it from my old project and paste it in here. Uh, let's save that. Yeah, something else I did, like if you're building this from scratch, is I added a, an underscore document.js file. Uh, then under here, I added this script uh, just to make sure that when I call uh, window.cloudinary, uh, the browser has access to the Cloudinary instance. Okay, so I'll get that out of the way and I created uh, a .env file, just added my cloud name and my API secret, I think. Uh, but I'll still show you how to do that. Um, before I go any further, I just want to run this project actually, npm run dev. Yeah, just to see what we have. Um, I'm not sure where which browser instance it is running but let's check here should be running on port 3000 uh cannot resolve this yep okay <laughs> because i'm using all of these components that i i haven't created yet so i'm just going to comment this out and comment out the import sorry 
save that and let's see if we have any more errors and we see we now have len signed uploads so we've gotten that out of the way uh, what I want to do is basically just put a button on the home screen and so that when you click it, you automatically upload your image to your Cloudinary account. Basically, that's it. Uh, so because like I already did, I made it a component uh, because it's just easier to do to work like that. Uh, so I'm just going to create a new file, a new folder. Uh, do I get this out of the way? Oh, my God. <laughs> I took out my <laughs> I took out my entire mic stand. Give me a second. We're back now. All right, uh, get this out of the way. And what I want to do is come here and create a components folder. And inside that folder, I'm going to create the image upload, the JS file. And what I want to do basically is just do all the cloudinary things right here. So let me get that uh, snippet from an existing code base and put that in here. And what I'm doing is I'm just initializing a new uh, cloudinary uh, upload widget here and I'm passing the cloud name, which in this case is all spaces for my cloud name and the unsigned presets uh, that I'm using. Actually, let me check. I do, I sh can go to settings go to uploads and if I scroll all the way down to upload presets I should see that I have some unsigned uh, upload presets so this is the one I'm using unsigned presets uh, so I've specified it here and the resource type is image I'm not specifying any folders but you can do that if you want um, and that's it right uh, you have a button that basically says upload image so when you click on that button uh, the upload widget is going to show up help you select your image and if everything is successful, it's going to say successfully uploaded. And that's it, right? Um, I think I can save this actually. And then come back and then uncomment this. And click on save. Uh, uncomment this as well. The import. Save that. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we have the button. And now we have the button to upload image. So let's try that. We see the uh, Cloudinary upload widget. So browse. Uh, let's select an image. Uh, which one should I do? Um, okay, let's do this. Let's do this one. And it's uploaded, right? Successfully. Uh, so let's do done. See successfully uploaded and that's it. It's an unsigned upload. It's that simple. Uh, but of course, like I mentioned, there, there are a lot a, a little bit of, uh, some security vulnerabilities around that because anybody who has access to your upload preset, which is this string can just upload stuff to your Cloudinary account. Right. And if you look at my account, uh, let's go to media. You should see that what we just uploaded shows up here. This is it, right? So anybody could have done that to me, uh, which is what brings us to the signed uploads. Uh, that is um, the feature that allows you to kind of like add an extra layer of security to your uploads. You know, use your API keys, get the get the the signature generated on a server, authenticate yourself, and only then can you upload. And to do that, let me show you exactly how to do that. The first thing we want to do is, uh, I like to put it in a utility folder. So let's create a utils folder. And in there, I'm going to create a new file. Let's call it generate. Generate signature.js. And I'm going to just get that code as well uh, from my code base and put this here. So what this is going to do is basically accept uh, a params to sign. Params to sign in this case is usually uh, the, the parameters you provide to the Cloudinary upload widget. So these ones, cloud name, upload preset, resource type, those are usually the params to sign. 
and then we make a, an API call, a post request to this endpoint. This is where our server is going to live. So basically what we are doing is we are creating a server, a server route, and then we're posting the parameters to sign to that server. The server we sign the parameters basically generates an upload signature and send it back to us on the client. And then we can wrap it in this callback and that should fix our problem, right? That should make it easy for us to authenticate our requests. Uh, so I'm going to save this and then I'm going to create this route. Uh, if you come to pages API, uh, let's make a new file and call it sign.js and I'll get that as well. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, we have, we are importing Cloudinary from Cloudinary. Oh, that means I should actually install Cloudinary, right? Yeah, did I, did I install it already? Let me check. Uh, no, so I do not have Cloudinary. So I'm going to install that. Um, Let's do on a different one, npm install. Cloudinary. Uh, to be honest, I'm not sure if it is Cloudinary or at Cloudinary. Mm -hmm. So I think it's probably Cloudinary, not at Cloudinary. So let's do this. Get rid of the at and do Cloudinary. Yeah, that should be it. Uh, let's just wait and see if it shows up. Now it shows up. So we have Cloudinary 1.29.1. Awesome. Uh, okay. So that's working and our app is still running, uh, which means I can continue uh, with this. So we import Cloudinary. Uh, this is a serverless function, of course, uh, just like the sample uh, um, Next.js API routes functions. Uh, you, you, you get a request from the clients, you process it and you send a response. Just, just that, uh, which is exactly what we're doing here. So we're getting uh, the body from the request body. We are destructuring out the params to sign objects from the request body. We are using the API key. Actually, I think I should just do this. Uh, let's do process.env dot uh, cloudinary API secret key. I think that's what I called it. So I'll save that. And then when I have the secret key, I can use it to uh, sign this parameter by calling the cloudinary utils.api underscore sign underscore request, <laughs> which will then help us uh, sign this parameter with this secret and send it back to the client, which is what we want, right? Uh, so now we are authenticating uh, from the client by sending, uh, yeah, what we need to do is basically send an API key parameter here and set it to this cloudinary API key and let's import the generate. Let's do import generate signature from the utilities folder. And what we can do the next is do a uh, upload signature. Will be no need to await generate signature. And that's it. So now we are, we are authenticating with our API key by supplying it here on the client uh, from the Cloudinary Upload widget. And then on the server, we are using our API secret to sign all the parameters we send across and get the signature back. Then when we have that signature, we can use it to authenticate uh, again here to make sure that our Cloudinary widget has access to the, to the server generated signature. Uh, so let's save this. I think that's a little bit of back and forth from all over the place. So uh, let's let's let me just walk through that again and and basically make it make sense. Um, without these two, without these two, if I comment this out and without doing any of the server generation thing, this is an unsigned upload, right? It just works out of the box. But if you want to make it a little bit secured, then you have to create an uh, an upload signature, which is this. Let me uncomment that. The upload signature and your API key is going to be used to authenticate the, the upload request to Cloudinary. The, the, the upload signature is generated on the server. So we have this function uh, that, gener that makes the post request to our server, sends the parameters we want to authenticate and gets the, the generated signature back. On the server, that's what we do. We accept that object, we sign it and we send it back. So I think it's pretty straightforward so far. So let's save this and 
come back to the browser I will refresh and hopefully it just works so I uploaded carbon 5 before let's try carbon 6 now open invalid API key okay I think I probably uh, where's the API key um, do I have it in my env file I do have it and I have the secret um, okay give me a minute to confirm I'll come to my dashboard and this is my API key so I'll copy this and it seems accurate though you know what I think uh, I'm doing something wrong with the ENV so I'm just going to put it here directly uh, because this is a demo and I'm going to change the keys anyways uh, so let's put this here and save that uh, if I have problem with the ENV it probably means I have problems with the um, with the one on the server with API secrets right uh, so let's just get the secrets as well and copy this and put that here directly yeah i'll figure out what i'm doing with the env later and yeah that should be it uh so let's try this again refresh the browser click on upload image uh browse get the carbon 6 image and upload it right so that is how you use a uh, signed upload in cloudinary with next.js so if i sit down i should see that it's uploaded and if i check my media console my media library on cloudinary i should see that i have this new one that, that just got uploaded uh yeah just as quickly as that i really just wanted to show you like if you have security concerns about using uh unsigned uploads and the uh, upload presets you can also do signed uploads uh, with these functions that I just showed you. And if you enjoyed this, please like, like and subscribe. And I don't know what else they usually say, uh, but that is for this video and I'll see you on the next one.